Hey guys, it's No Help, and welcome to my March Marathon, where I'm going to be uploading a video every single day in March. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers, so if you can go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, greatly appreciate it. On with the video. Hey guys, it's No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So in today's video, I'm going to be mining volcanic ash for an hour to see how many I can get per hour and uh, we'll test the mining experience out as well and just how easy this is to do and how competitive it is. So basically what volcanic ash is is it is a little dust that basically could be turned into making the ultra compost. It is on Fossil Island so I'm going to go ahead and show you the uses of it. So basically it's used to make the best compost in the game being the ultra compost for far farming and being an iron man this is very important super important so basically what you have to do is get a harlander potion unfinished and this is simply made by using a harlander on a vial of water and then what you're going to want to do is use the volcanic ash on this and as you can see it grants 60 herblore experience so this is a really good way for iron man to actually get a ton of herblore experiences because most of them don't even use the Harlander potions. This will go ahead and make a compost potion of three doses. And from there, you can um, go ahead and use the compost potion on a regular compost. And this will turn it into super compost. Um, so yeah, I didn't mean to empty that first one there. But yeah, you want to go ahead and just turn all of your regular compost into super compost this way. And then you can also use volcanic ash on the super compost. And this will turn it into ultra compost so this can be a pretty good way to actually get the ultra compost and make a little bit of money if you were a main account and you wanted to do this for money um, basically a compost potion of three is 44 gp the regular compost is very cheap you can actually buy it in bulk for even cheaper at the farming people and you can either mine the volcanic ash yourself or you can go ahead and just buy it from the grand exchange so as you can see right now this is 617 gp and if i go ahead and turn this all into the ultra compost uh format it will be a lot more money so 600 gp and we can simply turn it into a lot more by just turning this into ultra compost so as you can see right now we've pretty much tripled our i guess our money so we turned 600 gp into 2.3k in very short term so you can make a lot of money doing this but as for an Iron Man, it's pretty much the the only, I wouldn't say the only, but the best way to get Ultra Compost in the game. And if you're planning on doing farming, you're going to need a ton of this. So today we're going to be mining Volcanic Ash for an hour. All right, so the gear setup is pretty simple. Honestly, just bring a pickaxe. I went ahead and brought my mining outfit um, and as well as my construction cape. This pretty much just is to get to my house. And uh, if you do not have a dig site, um pendant in your house go ahead and just get bring a dig site pendant with you as well so what you're going to want to do is go to your dig site pendant and head over to fossil island so once you get to your dig site pendant or if you have one equipped um, you can just go and select fossil island and you will teleport right to fossil island from here you're going to want to use the magic mush tree and uh, you're obviously going to, going to need to have the Viridian Valley unlocked. Um, I'm sure if you guys are mining this, you will already have this unlocked. If you do birdhouse runs, which you should be doing, by the way, you should have this one unlocked. So pretty much here is where you're going to be mining the volcanic ash. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you how you would do a basic run of this. And then I'm going to go ahead, bank everything and come back and do this for a full hour. So basically these white dusts here on the map, they don't even show up as mining signs, but you can go ahead and mine them and they're kind of AFKable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now on screen which how many you get per a certain mining level. All right, so this is just on the rune wiki and basically every mining level you get more. So if you have 22 mining, you're going to get one volcanic ash per um, time you mine it, 37 to, um, so at the very end, at level 97 mining, you're going to be getting 6 Volcanic Ash for every single time you successfully mine one. So the higher mining level, the better. Um, I am only going to be getting 5 per, so you could get a ton more doing this per hour. But uh, 97 mining is a pretty big requirement. You could even do this at like level 50 and still make a decent amount of profit. So basically the trick you want to do is just mine them all in a row here. So you're going to go ahead and mine this one, then this one. 
and head all the way to the other end. So what I'm, they deployed after a while, right? So you'd mine this one, then you'd mine this one. You'd come up here, you mine this one, then you'd go to this one, mine it all. It's pretty simple, honestly. Wherever you see the big white pile of dust, you're just gonna go ahead, sit there, and mine it the entire time. Once you hit this last rock here and you finish mining it, you're going to want to hop worlds. This is just the quickest way because once you hop worlds, you can kind of just go back and mine this way again, and it just makes it very, very nice, very easy to to do and uh, you're not going to get the best mining experience in the world but you will get a ton of this volcanic ash so I'm going to be getting five for every single time as you can see it's going up by five and it's kind of AF cable as well yeah so once you would get to this end here you would just want to go ahead and switch worlds obviously not on a league's world we'll just go to another random world once you load into the game you could, this one should be open again as you can see and you can mine it and head backwards and then you know log out at the other side so um this can be busy at times i know a lot of people tend to do this at in the morning or something like that so you might want to pick a certain time to go ahead and do this but overall it won't be too busy just make sure you do it at uh the times where your area is not busy or you know it's just uh it shouldn't be too bad with competition nowadays but uh yeah that's pretty much how you're going to be doing this so what i'm going to go ahead to do right now is go to the bank and then come back here and we're going to do this for a full hour i'm going to go ahead as well right here and show you guys i'm going to reset my experience all of my experience here at the side so we can go ahead and track that for the full hour we're gonna go ahead and bank this 130 as well and i will be back in an hour to show you guys how much we made and how much mining experience we can get oh would you look at that we found a crash star so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the timer right now we are 20 minutes left i'm gonna go ahead and uh mine this um let me go ahead and as well pause the mining experience so right now we are at 7k mining i'm gonna go ahead and 7.3k mining write that down and i'll be right back all right so the shooting star is done now i i had 7,000 mining xp i'm gonna go ahead and add that at the end of the video right now so we're up to 21k now so i'm gonna go ahead and reset this again and we're back to this for 20 more minutes all right guys so the hour is up now and it looks like we mined 5,005 of the volcanic ash and as you guys can see right here we gained another 3,294 of the mining experience so if we go ahead and put that together that will give us a total of 10,687 of the mining experience I have a little calculator up here on the side so about 10k mining xp per hour which is which is not the best but any little bit of extra mining does help we got ourselves a couple of the um i got two of the uncut emeralds and one ruby the other two rubies i got from the mining the stardust so we're not obviously going to be including that into the price check so let's just go ahead and add the one ruby the sapphires and all of the volcanic ash so this is coming up to 413 k uh, k per hour so it's a decent way to make a little bit of money and if, if i did have the 97 mining i'd obviously get a little bit more and maybe a little bit less if i didn't have that level but as you can see 400k gp per hour and you could definitely make a lot more like a lot more if you turn this all into the ultra compost probably you're looking at 1 to 1.5 million gp and i mean it would take you a little bit of time obviously to turn it into the ultra compost so um yeah but anyways it's not too bad at all and uh yeah now i can go ahead and make a ton more potions so it's good to have and make some more um <laughs> of the ultra compost for farming anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video today and if you went ahead and watched the whole video go ahead and comment emerald down below thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys tomorrow in the next video